Welcome to the West Wing Week, your guide to everything that's happening at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. This week, the President traveled to the North American Leaders Summit in Toluca, Mexico, to California to address the current drought and meet with the King of Jordan, and to Upper Marlboro, Maryland, to announce an increase in fuel efficiency standards for heavy trucks. That's February 14th to February 20th, or don't, don't make, make small, small plans, plans, make, big, make plans. big plans. On Friday, the President departed for California to view firsthand the effects of the current drought. Welcome. Good to see you. He held a roundtable discussion with community leaders to hear from them about the effects of the worst drought in nearly 100 years on farmers, workers, and business yes, leaders. Uh, for President Obama, best wishes for healthy success, California almonds. We appreciate very much the fact that you're here. I love almonds. Thank uh, you. I'm eating them all the time. Keep eating. I will. Later, local farmers Joe and Maria Gloria Del Bosque provided the President and Governor Jerry Brown with a tour of their fields. California is the nation's largest economy and agriculture producer, so the impact of the drought can be felt through the cost of food on tables all across the country. And you know where it comes from? Hey, John Deere, baby. Your home state. After surveying the fallow land and limited water resources, the President spoke about how long-term solutions to climate change will be important to combating future droughts. We can't think of this simply as a zero-sum game. It can't just be a matter of there's going to be less and less water, so I'm going to grab more and more of a shrinking share of water. Instead, what we have to do is all come together and figure out how are we all going to make sure that agricultural needs, urban needs, environmental and, and conservation concerns are all addressed. And that's going to be a, a big project, but it's one that I'm confident we can do. Later, the president traveled to Rancho Mirage, California, to Sunnylands, otherwise known as the Camp David of the West, for a bilateral meeting with the King of Jordan where they discussed opportunities to strengthen the U.S.-Jordanian strategic partnership. On Tuesday, the President traveled to the Safeway Distribution Center in Upper Marlboro, Maryland, where he discussed raising fuel efficiency standards for medium and heavy-duty trucks. And businesses that buy these types of trucks have sent a clear message to the nearly 30,000 workers who build them. We want trucks that use less oil, save more money, cut pollution. And the reason we're here is because Safeway was an early leader on this issue. Every time somebody says you can't grow the economy, while bringing down pollution, it's turned out they've been wrong. Anybody who says we can't compete when it comes to clean energy technologies like solar and wind, they've had to eat those words. You can't bet against American workers or American industry. You can't bet against America, otherwise you're going to lose money every time because we know how to do this when we set broad, ambitious goals for ourselves. Later, the President invited a group of seven Japanese-American World War II veterans to the Oval Office to honor their service during a period when the United States government actively discriminated against Japanese-Americans. We are all grateful to you for everything that you've done for our country. And because of your outstanding courage and bravery, I think it, it uh, shined a spotlight on uh, the wrong that was done uh, to uh, Japanese-Americans during World War II. And you know, it, that has had a lasting impact on the country as a well whole because it reminded us uh, that uh, you know, this country is built not on a particular race or religion uh, or ethnicity, uh, but it's based on uh, a creed and ideals uh, that you've all fought for. And uh, so, uh, you know, what you did was not only important uh, to the war effort, but it was important to reshaping how America thinks about itself. For that, we're very, very grateful. Well, if it's Wednesday, it must be Mexico. The president traveled south of the border to Toluca, Mexico, where he participated in the North American Leaders Summit. At the summit, the president discussed a wide range of issues, including economic competitiveness and citizen security, with Mexican President Peña Nieto and Canadian Prime Minister Harper. Okay, I gotta get home. Thank you, buddy. To find out more information on any of these topics or to see complete videos of these events, go to whitehouse.gov. And thanks again for checking out your West Wing Week.